Hello YouTube and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle with my Poke rival Andy, aka Nina Mori fanboy, link below to his channel and the view of this battle. Um, this is my first battle with Andy after a little break from battling and when I started to IV breed my Pokemon and really try to, you know, get into and get really good at competitive battling. And uh, I'm bringing the same team that I did the last battle uh, that I just uploaded and he has all new Pokemon. He has Aegislash, Hydreigon, Kingler, Garchomp, Greninja, and Tyranitar. So this should be a really intense battle. We've both got a ton of power here. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, so again, this is another team where he doesn't have a for sure, like, oh, that's who he's going to lead with. Um, and I know he likes to do some atypical leads, but he actually does lead with the most common lead that um, of his team, Tyranitar. And I led with Gengar, of course. Said, well, I don't know about his Tyranitar. Mine has um, Pursuit. So, or at least one of mine has, a couple of mine have Pursuit. So I'm like, I don't know that I want to switch out. So I stay in, I go for Grass, or for Energy Ball, and do a real good bet. It'll be a two hit KO. He sets up the Stone, or the South Rocks. And I just go for Energy Ball and KO it. I mean, I know he, he said when we were having this battle a while ago that, you know, his main intention was just to get the rocks up, but to waste your Mega on that, there are much better things that can do that. And, you know, survive and stuff, so. But hey, I, you know, took out his Mega, so awesome. So in comes Greninja, Jiria, not Jiraiya, that is spelled differently, um, with his Time Scarf, so. In comes my Registeel. He's never seen any of these Pokemon or, that I'm using before from me. So... He does, what, Dark Pulse, was it? Um... Yeah, I mean, I take that just fine. And so I'm sure he's got no idea what I'm gonna do here. He just decides to withdraw, kind of scout, and sends out... Kingler. Now, I don't know much about Kingler. Oh yeah, of course, Toxic misses, that's important, but... I don't know much about Kingler. One thing I do know about Kingler is that they can learn through Move Tutor. I just believe Move Tutor. I don't believe that they can Egg Move it, but they can learn Super Power. That would be very bad for Registry. So, I switch, send out Gengar. And he sword dances me. Uh oh. Well, I'm faster. I don't know. Aqua Jet's a thing, but I don't know if it's a thing for Kingler. Anyways, he does switch out, so I'm guessing that if he can learn it, he doesn't know it. I go for the Shadow Ball. Um, I don't know why I went for Shadow Ball, and I should have went for Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb has a higher um, base power. Both were neutral. To see how, unless I was thinking maybe he'd go out to Aegislap, I don't know, but that'd be pretty dumb. So, anyways, no, so I switched out Tyranitar after his um, High Dragon took the Shadow Ball. Uh, he goes for the Flamethrower. I'm a Salt Vest. It does nothing at all. Um, he loses probably more than I did, just from his Life Orb. And then there's Sandstorm, just for, you know, some extra little. He tries to switch out. I hit him with Pursuit. And he sends out characters, which is Kingler again. Hurt by Sandstorm, gets leftovers. This thing scares me. I, I still don't know what it has besides Sword Sand, so... I switch out, I send out my Gyarados. Stones stick into me, and then Hyper Cutter prevents Intimidate. And then he goes for Crab Hammer, and it does a real solid amount. And Sandstorm, one more would KO me. And he gets Sandstorm, and he gets Leftovers. And I Earthquake now, I'm like, I just need to hit some damage on this thing. And he goes for X-Scissor, um, I guess thinking that I'm going to switch out or something, but... 
He actually gets a crit. The crit did matter, I think. Um, I can't imagine that a, an x scissor would have killed me there, but... So you get some leftovers and Sandstorm, you know, that all that good stuff. I send up Gengar, I'm like, I can, I can KO this now. He didn't stay in last time, he doesn't have priority. Shadow Ball, again, Shadow Ball. I could go for those other moves, but... Sandstorm subsides. And in comes his Garchomp. And his Garchomp is Scarf, because it outspeeds Gengar. Which should not happen naturally. My Gengar is Specs, um, so I do a really solid amount with the Shadow Ball. After hitting with Rock Slide, it didn't pay me. But then I get um, to Registeel. He Rock Slides me, which, yeah, because he's choice into Rock Slide. And it does pitiful amounts. Um, he withdraws now for Hydreigon, and I'm like, okay, I predicted a withdraw, and Charge Beam, not very, it's a critical even, but I get the special attack raise, which is what I wanted. And he will protect. Oh, excuse me, no, I protect. And he goes for Surf. Um, I think I forgot that he was Life Orb, but I wanted to, like, I wanted him to get locked in. I thought he was Scarfed or Specked. I usually run mine with Specs or Scarf, just because he doesn't really have the speed or the bulk to do Life Orb well, I don't think, but. So, yeah, Charge Beam takes him down. I think it was Charge Beam took him down. I don't think I got a special attack raise there. I don't know. Sorry, I blinked a little bit. Um, so, in comes Aegislash. This thing can definitely kill me with a secret, secret, whatever, sword attack. But, I do the stupid thing and switch out and let Gengar die. And he predicts me to do something stupid, I guess, because he just went for a sword dance. At plus one or plus two, I mean, I could have done a little bit of damage to the Aegis Lash, but in comes my Mamo, Earthquake. Now, this Mamo's one is not choice or orbed in any way, so what should be a KO is not a KO, unfortunately. And down goes the Mamo. And some leftovers for him. And now Titar. Get that sandstorm going to keep these battles longer. Um, he switches forms to shield, king shield. I guess thinking I might pursue or something, but... I know what Aegis Slash does. I just go for the EQ. He's not surviving an earthquake. I don't care if he King Shields a few times and gets leftovers. He's not going to survive with that much. So now he decides to switch stances and attack me with Shadow Sneak. And that won't do too much. Um, I mean, he is buffed, so it does a bit, but nothing major. And down he goes. And now the second one, or sorry, um, sends out Garchomp, Earthquakes, Dead Tyranitar. And we're getting down to the end of this. Um, I will send out my Registeel and put Earthquake in care of that. And, uh, well, I'll protect Torx, but yeah, so. I'm going to try to get a little extra HP and survive, but that's not going to happen. So, that's going to be the battle. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to lose another one here. Uh, I think that's... I don't think I have anyone else on the team. I must have one more, yeah. 
Oh, Alakazam, but unfortunately not going to be good enough. Um, he scarfed, and if I was Mega beforehand, I might have outsped, but I am not. So, good game, Andy. Um, you know, right down to the wire. That was his last one, I think, the Garchomp. But, um, like, comment, subscribe, leave your friend codes. We can have a battle. I'll record them on and put them on here. Um, let me know if there's anyone you want to see me use. I will train them. Leave a moveset if you want. If not, I'll come up with one. Um, yeah, I think this will probably be the last battle for today, but I'll try to get a bunch more up soon.